Hi and welcome to Cooking from Scratch. In this video, we're going to be making fusidati. These are Italian fig cookies. So to begin, we're going to take one cup of vegetable shortening, and to that, we're going to add a half a cup of sugar, as well as one egg and a half a cup of milk. And we're just going to combine all of these. Next, we're going to add our dry ingredients. So we need four cups of flour, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to combine these with our wet ingredients. As the dough starts to uh, form, I like to just get in there with my hands and just knead the dough a little bit until it comes together in a nice cohesive ball. At this point, we want to divide the dough into four pieces and shape them into small rectangles, wrap them with plastic wrap, and chill them in the refrigerator for about an hour. While the dough is chilling, we're going to go ahead and make our filling. So to do this, I like to use a food processor. It just runs a little bit quicker, but you could also chop things by hand if you want to do it the old-fashioned way. So for this, we need one cup of dried figs, one cup of pitted dates, three quarters of a cup of raisins, as well as a half a cup of walnuts, one quarter of a cup of honey, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one quarter cup of orange marmalade. And we're just gonna process this in the food processor until it uh, forms a nice paste. Now you don't want it completely smooth here. You can leave little chunks of walnut and uh, little chunks of fig, but you just don't want something that's a really big chunk that's not gonna fit in these small cookies. Next, we're gonna take our dough out from the refrigerator and we're gonna roll this into a 12 inch uh, wide sheet. And we want it to be about 3 16 of an inch thick. We don't want the dough too thin because it will start to rip. We don't want it too thick because then we're gonna get more dough than filling in these cookies. So I find that about Three quarters inch thick uh, works for this recipe. Next we're going to add a very thin uh, rope, it's about a quarter inch thick uh, portion of our filling that we just created in our food processor. And we want to add this filling closest to the edge uh, adjacent to our body. And then we're going to roll the dough away from us until the filling is enclosed in the dough. And next we're going to cut the dough along this log to remove any uh, excess dough. We'll come back to this later. So at this point, we'll have a 12-inch log of dough that has the filling inside, and we can cut the log into one-inch pieces. And we're just going to repeat the same process until we run out of dough and filling. Now you can cut these into rectangular logs, or you could cut them on a bias if you'd like a slightly different design. Both look great. Next, we're going to bake the cookies for 10 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees, just until they're a little golden brown on the bottom. After the cookies have cooled, we'll go ahead and make our icing. So to do this, we need two cups of confectioner sugar, as well as a few tablespoons of milk and water. I like to just start with two or three tablespoons uh, at the beginning, and then add just a little bit more uh, as I need it, depending on how humid the day may be. I might need a little less milk or water. But what I'm looking for is a pretty thick consistency here. So once you have this thick frosting, you're gonna go ahead and dip your cooled cookies in frosting, where you can spoon a little bit on top of your cookies and then sprinkle them with some nice rainbow colored sprinkle. And here's the finished product, Kusi Dadi, Italian fake cookie. If you like this recipe, remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this.